In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for K2SO4 plus Na2CO3, potassium sulfate plus sodium carbonate. First thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This molecular equation, it's already balanced. Next, we can write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, compounds with potassium, they're very soluble, and sulfates are in general very soluble. So we're going to put an AQ for aqueous dissolved in water. Sodium compounds, very soluble. Even though carbonates aren't soluble, group one elements like sodium and potassium, they form soluble carbonates. So we're going to put an AQ here and over here. And we have another sodium compound. That's also going to be aqueous. So when we look at this, everything's aqueous. That means there's no reaction taking place. You can think of it this way. If we wrote the ions for each of these compounds here, that would look like this. So all of these would be aqueous. We have our reactants on the top, products down here. And if we look at it, everything on this side is the same. So all of these are aqueous. And if we cross out the spectator ions in the reactants, we have 2K plus, we have it in the products. We have a sulfate and a sulfate, two sodiums in the reactants, two in the products, carbonate, and then again in the products, we've crossed everything out. So what that means is we start out with these ions and we end up with these ions. Nothing's changed. There is no reaction. And if there's no reaction, we won't have a precipitate either here in the products. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for K2SO4 plus Na2CO3. Thanks for watching.